believe, because if you go around the Arab world, they believe crazy things about the Jews. And that has, you know, it's gotten worse because of Israel's being, Israel being established. Yeah. But it was always there. Yeah, and, I know. Uh, and, it's not going to uh, go away if Israel goes In Nablus, one wrong. time, you know, there's a bookseller in the downtown, you know, like had a table there with books. And one of them was, you know, Hitler's book, Mein Kampf. And I said, you know, like, you shouldn't show this. You shouldn't, you know, like, circulate this. He says, oh, no, no, you know, like, business. You know, and I said, you know, but, the, you know, he was against, you know, you know, the Arabs as well. Don't you realize? <laughs> you know, he was a racist, yeah, anti-Semite, you know, and he the, says, no, uh, no, 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 you know. So. They sort of, you know, say, you know, had a totally different mentality, you know, like, and I've seen swastikas as well, you know, put up, you know, in, in Palestinian areas, and, and then I put, you know, a, a, an X on, a, a bar on it, you know, with fluorescent orange paint. <laughs> So, but, uh, you know, like, there is a certain genocidal, you know, like, uh, subculture in the Arab-Islamic, you know, like, uh, mentality, yes. But is it more or is it less than what you find in Zionism? Well, Zionism isn't a genocidal term. It can... Oh, yeah, yeah but, you, you know, there are Zionists who will say it is. Well, there are, Z there are far-right extremist Zionists. The Kahanists, and, and they implement it. wing Zionists. Like... Uh, like it's a, there's a lot of different types of Zionism. Like Baruch Goldstein, you know, like... everything. Call, like... I mean, I think Zionism at this point, everybody means something different when they say it. But, and I think if you say, well, I just believe that the Jews have a right to establish a state in uh, their ancestral homeland, most people are kind of okay. I mean, some people are not. They, they oppose that, that even that fundamentally. But for a lot of people, especially in the Arab world, Zionism means the expulsion of Arabs. Uh, yeah. Well, it, it means both things at the same it time. It shouldn't mean yeah. that, and I think the textbook definition is just self-determination in terms of the state of the Jewish people. Sure. Obviously, it, people can... I mean, you can even different. make the argument that, you know, before, I don't know, like 1880, that whole area was very sparsely populated by, you know, like, there was a couple of our, our uh, villages, a couple of Jews, not No, a lot, no, no. But there weren't a lot of people there no, before 1880. No, no, no. Jerusalem was established long before King David, even, no, by no, the Jerusalem, Jebusites. Uh, Jerusalem was not doing too well in 1880. Um, there, there wasn't yeah, a, but, uh, I mean, like, the, the, Jerusalem was established, you know, before there was even Jewish people, right. you but know? I, 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 you know, what I'm trying to say is, before 1880, uh, it was a very spark. there was less than, I think, oh, half a million people in the whole area. No. So... Really, what happened is no. I mean, uh, 1880. Oh, 1880. Well, I don't know. So, but uh, you know, in 40, 48, there was 780 well, was Palestinians who were expelled. 1880 until 1936 ish was at the same time that there was some Jewish immigration. There was also a lot of Arab immigration because the area was booming economically. Now, what happened was in 1946, Jordan gets established, and nobody ever says you know Jordan doesn't have a right to exist or Jordan is stolen land that. Even the Palestinians don't say Jordan you, was You're not even right. recognizing that there was a British occupation at the time. Sure. The British occupation wouldn't let in migrants, you know, just, uh, well, hold on. Actually, you know, they because they wanted to. The nation of Israel decolonizing uh, that area from the English and having the native people return there, not not saying it's perfect how it was created. Like, I spoke to uh, uh, an near gun fighter, you know, that I met in, in Tel Aviv one time because he's the father of my, my cousin's wife, and I was invited to visit them. And I'm speaking to this guy, you know, who's your gun fighter, and I said, you know, you were opposed to the British occupation, and the Palestinians were opposed to the British occupation, so how come you didn't fight together against the British occupation? And he said, well, we, there was some discussion along those lines, but it was never resolved, you know, like, as if it was, you know, well, I think nothing. <laughs> if you look historically, what was happening was... It's the Zionists who refused to negotiate, people, you know, a, a, a united front with I the mean, Palestinians to, to get rid of the British. But generally speaking, at least from my understanding, is between 1880 and 1940, there was a lot of immigration, mostly Arab, some Jew, and there were people who were living there. And sometimes they got along, sometimes they didn't. There was the Hebron massacre, I believe it was 1936, where they just yeah. slaughtered all the Jews in Hebron. So we can hardly say that the Zionists did this or the Arab, like everybody was killing each other. Um, and we also know that although the British played both sides against each other, both sides fought the British. But what we do know is in 1946, Jordan was established. And Jordan proceeded, yeah, 1946. Uh, Jordan's a very new country. Um, yeah, the but the sykes picot Agreement established Jordan. They divided up the uh, the so-called Middle East between the French and the British empires. sykes picot and they established uh, the Palestinian Mandate, you know, which included Jordan. Yeah, 
and then they so the Hashemites and then the south king was imported by the British into yeah, so Jordan from Saudi Arabia so yeah. what happened was the Hashemites started oppressing the Palestinians and pushed them into what's now the West Bank you know, west of Jordan and no then, uh, were, there's but, two million from the West Bank who went into Jordan in 48 two million Palestinians are still in Jordan yes there are but they also, Jordan had control over the West Bank and pushed a lot of Palestinians in that direction. And then the Palestinians were getting... There weren't any Palestinians in Jordan before 48. They were just Jordanians and Nabataeans. Well, I met them Jordanians at Petra. Too. I went to see Petra. Uh, people weren't called Palestinians. Well, they, they were called Arabs back then. Yeah. So, but at the same time, uh, because Israel was getting, you know, they were trying to establish Israel, there was, of course, conflict, and, uh, you know, a bunch of uh, people who now call themselves Palestinians, but Arabs got kicked out of their villages and pushed into the West Bank. And so now you have, you know, this Arab population that's not Hashemite, that's in, uh, you know, the west of Jordan and in the West Bank, and uh, nobody really knows what to do with them, and Israel declares, you know, that they're going to be an independent state, but those Arabs living in the West Bank and part of Jordan, they don't. And so what happens is now don't they're kind of stuck because jo Jordan has kind of annexed it, but they don't really want it. And Israel doesn't want it because that's where all the Arabs are. And they don't have Gaza either because Egypt has Gaza at the time. And the eternal question is, well, why didn't the Arabs living in the area just say, okay, the West Bank is going to be our country? And the reason is that because the they other did. Arab leaders said... That's what was negotiated by Arafat. The West Bank was going to be Palestine yeah. and Israel was going to be Israel. The Arabs rejected that in 48. No, yes, yes, Arafat, I, 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 it's, I'm, no, they they're just denying this, I rejected the borders. They re, they wanted okay, to renegotiate the borders. Enough, it's a bit of technicality, but they rejected the borders, and then there was no agreements. And you can argue at the time it might have just been because of East Jerusalem. Yeah, but Israel went far beyond the partition frontier. Not That's Highway 66 down there. No, that, we're talking about 48. Yeah, Israel Later. went beyond, you know, the, the border set gonna, by the partition plan. It was going to be like, I was pretty sure no, it was no, like, no, 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 they doubled the territory. Israel, 48% Palestine, then they... They took 70% of Palestine. After they lost the After they, the they were given 50%, 52%, you know, by partition plan. Yeah, right, which they took... And then they later years. occupied, you know, in 48, you know, then, up to 70%. No, no, that was in 67 when um, Israel took... No, 67, they took 100%. <laughs> they took it all. And because, part, you know, but, parts of Egypt and Syria as well, and Lebanon. The the Arab, well, like the, the Arab Palestinians, Syria, not Lebanon. and all the other okay. countries, they start a war, then they lose, and then when no the Israel season, starts the Israel's, wars. No, they haven't started. Sixty-seven war. was started by Israel. No, it wasn't. They, how is that? Who attacked Israel in sixty-seven? All the all the uh, Arab countries surrounding. So, so you're talking about forty-eight or forty-nine. Kind of right in the sense. So Israel did preemptively attack. Yeah. But Israel had intelligence that said they are going to attack. Or they said they had intelligence. Now, you could not believe it. And yeah. Then, you know, that's, you're right. Um, but, you know, ultimately, uh, you can say, well, Israel preemptively attacked or Israel preemptively defended themselves. Yeah. And, ult you know, like, but, you know, I've seen, the, you know, the Israeli Zionist politicians lying so much, you know, that I don't believe them about that point. You know, I think they, they attacked with premeditation. And also the plan to occupy... Well, what would be the purpose of them attacking... Guys, the do they have a plan to move the Palestinians into Egypt, you know, with the maps and everything? I've seen it, you know, I'm like sure two, like two years ago I saw a map. Sure, I'm sure they'd like to. They planned they this, you know, since a long time. Because, you know, ultimately the problem with Gaza, even more so than the West Bank, is how small it is and how close it is to the Israeli population. And uh, No to genocide. You know, ultimately the fact is that... Uh, Either it's going to be a genocide, like I don't like it, but that's what's going to happen, is they're going to get rid of it. Or they're going to work out a peace deal, but the problem is, is that nobody, let's be honest, nobody really wants a peace deal, like maybe individuals want, but like, broadly speaking, everybody's kind of in it. Hamas wants a peace deal, why not? They already agreed to the truce that lasted seven days. And it, it held, started, you know, there was, why would Hamas peace there was you know, very the little fighting that took place, you know, during if that... Hamas started the war, why would they want, why would they want peace? To exchange the hostages, the prisoners. They could they could talk about it and, and like demand. Some because they things. wanted to get the Palestinians out of prison. That's not why they did October seventh. You said that last. Yeah, well, that's, that's why they took the hostages. They didn't kill October them. October seventh was a genocidal massacre, and they ended up being able to get some Palestinian prisoners back. But you can do very minimal research and figure out that that's not why they did October seventh. Really, I mean, like, we kind of know from what they said is it was to disrupt the Abraham Accords. Um, getting the hostages and then trading them for Palestinian hostages, mm -hmm. it's oh, just Christmas. a bonus. 
So that's actually complicated because there are many Palestinians which are rightly imprisoned, but there's also many yeah, Palestinians then, then there's 